travelers and welcome back to In Constant With Favor. I'm Hime, your host, and today I'm taking you to a new country. A country that some consider it the wreck diving capital in the world with over 50 shipwrecks. And it is composed of 700 islands, most of them volcanic rock, which means there's little sand. And even though it's a land area, it's 702 square kilometers. It is scattered on an ocean area of 2.6 million square kilometers, equivalent to the size of Argentina. What? I know. Crazy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you have any idea about this place? I'm talking about the Federated States of Micronesia. So it is composed of four states, Ponape, Yap, Truk, and I'm gonna say this one wrong, so I do apologize. It's Kosaye. Each of these states have something different to offer. Palikir, it's located in Ponape, and it's a capital. And it's pretty small, and I would dare to say that it's even smaller than Majuro. As you can probably imagine, because I've been saying this, traveling around the islands, about, around the states, it's kind of expensive. And though it's easier, it's expensive. You can hop on one of the United Airlines flights that go from Hawaii to Guam, or the other way around. This country was claimed by the Spanish and then bought by the Germans. Yes, I said bought. How crazy is that? And then occupied by the Japanese during World War I. And then went under a uh, trust with the USA until its independence, though they still maintain a pretty close relationship. I was very excited about visiting Ponape because it is so different from the other countries I visited in the area. It is way bigger of an island and it's green and it has hills and waterfall. So let me take you there. So once there, I stay at the cheapest hotel in town, which is the South Park Hotel, which has an amazing view of the Socket Rock. didn't last long. The country's not really prepared for tourism except for diving and surfing. So it was pretty hard getting around but I got a taxi and just a short drive away. I went up a hill and I got to see some of the machine guns left from the war and some amazing viewpoints. You can also go visit some waterfalls that are close by like the Nududunia Falls or just go in town and go visit the Spanish Wall or the Great Old Bell Tower. Have a look. there's a place that you must go and that is Nanmadon. It is an archaeological site constructed in a lagoon and it's composed of artificial islands linked by canals. It used to be the spiritual and political seat for the Sao de Leon dynasty. I've seen a lot of temples and places but the architecture here is something I've never seen before and it was amazing. Definitely, definitely put it on your list. 
check it out. Is sakao. Sakao is a local drink that is made out of kava plant, uh, of the root of the kava plant, uh, pounded in hibiscus bark. It is thick and slimy, and they say it's good for your health, and it has a similar effect to alcohol, even though it's more of a sedative. Like it calms people down, your tongue gets numb, and the good thing about it is that you don't get a hangover the next day. I was lucky enough to be part of a ceremony where they show me how it is traditionally made. So, would you try it? Tell me. States has something different to offer and yep has also the stone money that is actually like a rock like a stone and they use it as currency so that's amazing that's definitely something that you should add as well so if you like what I'm doing and you like this video don't forget to follow and subscribe and if you liked it as well give it a thumbs up because I love that if you've got any questions or anything to say don't forget to write it in the comments down below because as I say I haven't been there, but it's on my list, so it could be in yours. Don't forget to share with your friends. You guys can go together. See you next time. Bye.